I've got you guys three quick gameplay tips and I think tip number two is going to blow some of your minds. If you're tired of coming up against teams like this, you can get some foot coins through MMO EXP using the link down below. You can also use code JAMBU for 5% off. So I'm going to be showing you guys three really quick fixes in order to get more wins in FIFA. We're going to jump straight into it in this video. All I ask is please do leave a like rating. Let's try and hit 100 on this video. And do subscribe. I really want to get to 100k. Every single person that presses the subscribe button gets me one step closer. So if you're feeling generous, hit that sub button and let's get into it. Right, so to some of you, this will seem obvious. But tip number one it is going to be the camera angle you choose. You can get a significant game gameplay advantage just off of choosing the right camera angle this one i'm in right now is disgraceful it's the ea sports game cam probably the worst camera to ever be invented um this is what i advise you guys do okay so obviously go into your settings and then in the camera settings my personal advice is to go telebroadcast and then actually customize these settings put the camera height to the max and then the zoom to the lowest. And then what this is going to allow you to do is just see more of the pitch. So especially because we're playing a game where through balls are so important, being able to see more of the pitch is super, super effective. Like I'm way back here and I can see where my strikers are and what they're doing. So don't play a camera angle where you're super zoomed in and it, and you know, it just makes it impossible to actually see anything. Okay, so tip number two, I think will blow some people's minds. I've done a video on this before, but obviously a lot of you may not have seen it and it is the FIFA trainer hack. I say hack, it's really not a hack, but it sort of is. It's one of those life hacks that you really should be doing. So you can only do this in game and it sometimes resets, but it should stay for the most part. So just pause in game, go into the FIFA trainer and make sure you select show. And then from there, um, you want to turn on the shot target. You want to turn on the timed finishing indicator and you also want to turn on the offside indicator. And I'm going to show you why. Okay, so I'm probably going to end up messing this up. But look when I go to take a shot. It's actually going to give me the timed finishing indicator. To show me exactly when to press shoot again to green time finish it. I did actually mess it up and I hit it too late. But you guys can see the point. And the other shot setting that we've got on is for the power shot. So I'm going to attempt to win the ball back off that AI. And then I'll actually try and uh, show you this in action. So let's try and get into a position. I I'm going to cut until we're actually in the position. Okay, so you're going to see a line, right, when we go to take shots. Which means when you line up the power shot, um, you're actually going to be able to see, you know, like exactly where you're going to shoot. And it is super, super effective because obviously with the power shots, uh, they're fully manual on this game. So, actually lining them up and scoring is not the easiest thing to do. Okay, so I'm going to line up a power shot here. And you can see that white indicator, which means you can see exactly where you're actually trying to do the shot. Which means when you're in and around the box, you've got a much higher chance of actually being able to hit these power shots. And if you do get them on target, which I can't seem to do to save my life... They are actually really good. So you can see here again, you've got the white thing. I'm awful at them. But it enables you to actually aim the shot. And once you get used to it, um, they're super overpowered. So tip two, make sure you're using that FIFA trainer. I'm going to show you the final one. And it is the fact that it lets you see that your players are offside. So let's try and get this lined up now. I'm going to send one of my players on a run. Keep looking over his head. You see that offside flag? You can never be offside again now. You're going to see exactly when your players are offside. So you know when and when not to actually play the pass. This one, in my opinion, is the most useful. Ridiculously OP. Uh, you know, just never losing the ball again from an offside scenario. Uh, we're going to send him on a run again. Keep looking over his head if he actually ever decides to go offside. You see that flag above his head? We know not to play the pass. It is super good. And now I'm also going to hit a power shot. I'm just going to give up on those. So the last thing that can really help you, which isn't actually to do with FIFA ability, but more so changing settings round, tip three is just getting the right formation and tactics. I've got tons on my channel 
from basically every formation that are going to work well for you guys, depending on how you want to play. The best formation in the game at the moment at a pro FIFA level is a 4-3-2-1. So I'd recommend going and watching some of my tactics on that. I'll give you a little spoiler in this video now. These are what I use uh, for the actual tactics. The instructions are important too, so make sure you go and check those out on my channel. But just making sure you're using the right formation and tactics is so key in order to get in more wins on FIFA. But I do hope these quick tips helped you guys. If they do, please do leave a like rating. Consider subscribing to the channel. I really want that 100k plaque and I can only do it with your help. But thank you so much for watching guys. I'll catch you on the next one and peace.